Woke up a little bit late this morning and it's only relatively late because we're going to do the bridge climb this morning. Clear weather, well, the clearest we've had in the last few days. We are scheduled for 9.05 a.m. to walk across the Sydney Bridge on a private tour so we can vlog it. They approved us to vlog it and super excited. We're here at the bridge climb. This is Brett, yes. this is Craig, and they're gonna be taking us along the Sydney Bridge. So we're gonna go check it out right now. So we made it to the top of the Sydney Harbor Bridge. I'm gonna hold the camera up pretty high so you can kind of see like an aerial view. No drones, just a lot of stairs. Flag, bridge, and there's a city. It's all Sydney, correct? All of this, everything? You can see, man. Wow. This was amazing, had a really great time. It's a good way to wrap up our time in Australia, right? Yeah. Good way to close that. Good way to close. Probably the best way to close out our Australia trip. Thank you guys for the awesome tour. <laughs> Thank you, Bridge Climb Sydney, for allowing us to film this. I'm gonna link Bridge Climb in the description box. If you guys ever come to Sydney, highly recommend this. This is by far. I think this is the coolest thing we did. This is the coolest thing we've done. I stopped by the camera store because the other day I actually broke my microphone. I didn't break it. it stopped working. I tried to fix it. Changed the batteries. Messed with the settings. It was a Sennheiser and it was really expensive. I had it since episode one of Summer Shredding, so not that long. And I picked up a Rode mic, so here we go. Testing one, two, three. And here we are. So, hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. We're going back to Wanda Beach to get a workout in, slash upload a video. And then we're going to London tonight. 20 plus hours in the plane. London. Oh, God. We're going to London. London. We're going to London. London. Well, you can't really want to use the one you've been using. Uh, passport slash cash, or just some cash, really. Cool. We just came down like four flights of stairs to manually put all the luggage in storage here at the Airbnb because our flight's not until 9.45 p.m. and it's only like 1.45. And now we're gonna go to the gym, probably find some lunch before we have to leave tonight. Woo! Currently at the coffee shop. They have pretty good Wi-Fi, so I am exporting my video and I'm gonna see how long it takes to upload. If it doesn't take too long, I'm gonna chill here. If it does take too long, I'm gonna go to the gym and hopefully use their Wi-Fi to upload. But I have to get this video done before we get on the plane. Like ready, live, scheduled, good to go. I've been stuck there for about 10 minutes. This is our problem. First real meal of the day. I have a bowl of white rice with tuna shrimp, edamame, carrots, and green onion. So this looks absolutely insane. I put a roasted sesame sauce, which is a tiny, tiny bit, which is really good. I'm gonna eat this, drink this water, and the gym is actually right behind me. So we're gonna go straight to the gym after this. Winning. I keep forgetting that I have so many beginners and people that are learning about nutrition and everything watching this channel. And fish is such a good, source of protein and it's one of the leanest sources of protein so you have you know I like to eat chicken you have beef you have ground turkey out of all those fish is most of the time the leanest uh, depending on the fish of course but tuna is extremely lean uh, cod tilapia salmon's good it's a little bit higher in fat but my favorites are cod and tuna so really really low fat I think it's like 92 or 93 percent protein for eight ounces, and then like seven to eight percent fat, zero car carb obviously. But really, really good source of protein, really clean, and uh, 
tastes really good with some lemon on it. So this is an awesome meal for summer shredding. Yes. I am praying to the YouTube gods to please, please let this video go up. We're here at Speedo Fitness Club. I'm hoping one, the employees here are cool enough with me like hooking up to Wi-Fi, posting up to my laptop and uploading. And two, that the Wi-Fi is fast enough and strong enough to make this happen. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's got it. Yes, yes, yes. It's working. We should have came here the last three days. 19 minutes left till it's done. At the what? Airbnb, literally about seven to eight hours continually checking on it. This is amazing. I'm just gonna put the thumbnail now. Shout out to what gym is this? Speedo Fitness. You guys are, well, you guys are awesome for having good Wi Fi, but I was waiting outside for 40 minutes last night, so I had mixed feelings. But this overpack, it's all good, man. It's all fine. I'll wait 10 hours. <laughs> Today I'm gonna to take you through my workout and kind of give you a few tips on each exercise. It is a back and bicep day, which is the first day of my split. It's back, by chest, tri, legs, arms, and shoulders. So back and biceps, we're doing about four movements for back, three for biceps, three sets each. Here's the first movement. We're starting out with the rack pull, and with the rack pull, essentially the top half, top portion of a deadlift, which is where you actually utilize the most of your back, right? So I brought this plate over here and I put it on the floor because these bars only go so low, this is the lowest they go, and as you can see, the bar is kind of like at slash above my kneecap, and so by having this over here, standing on this, this puts the bar right underneath my kneecap, which is where I want the bar positioned for this movement, and so I'll keep my legs together, my feet together, a little bit inside the shoulder width, and I'm going to try to keep my hands uh, on a overhand grip, both hands overhand, I'm going to grab right where the nailing gets rough. So here's a massive tip. Back straight, but you're gonna see a lot of guys roll their shoulders, their shoulders forward like this, and as they come up, they're gonna try to shrug it like this, like that. And go like this, like that, like that. So a few tips, you wanna keep your arms straight, like this. You don't wanna be like, you wanna bend them, because you don't wanna tear your bicep. I like to keep my shoulder blades retracted, so meaning I'm already getting in this position, I'm retracted, and I'm staying here the whole entire motion. So I'm not gonna pull up and then retract, I'm gonna get retracted, get in my position, and keep that tight the whole entire motion, keep my abs really tight, just like this. And never disengage the scapula, meaning don't let your shoulders fall forward, keep them tight enough in the back. So upper, overhand grip, about eight to 10 reps. Also neck neutral, you don't wanna be arched here with that. Neck neutral, back tight, and shoulders back. <laughs> No belt, no wraps, no chalking. Pulling it like that. Second movement of the day, we're actually gonna do a weighted pull up. Shooting for about three sets of roughly five to six really controlled quality reps. I'm only, I'm, I'm gonna use 25 pounds. I have no weighted pull ups in quite a while. So I'm gonna go here, wrap it around, and I'm gonna latch this on right here. All right, that's fine. So here you can see I'm putting the weight belt Kind of like there. So this is your starting position. I'm gonna go a wide grip, but not super, super wide. I'm gonna go, say shoulder width, maybe two to three inches. A little bit. Thumbs are going over the bone. I'm just really focusing on pulling the elbows down and squeezing the lat as much as possible. Here we go. Essentially a dead stop every single rep. So I'm starting from the very bottom, 
come all the way up, holding down slow to the very bottom. So full entire range of motion starting to stop every single time. Three sets, six sets. If you're unable to do weighted pull-ups like I'm doing, then I would recommend doing bodyweight pull-ups in each set. So if you do three sets, try to stay about one to two reps shy of failure. So conserve about one or two reps in the tank for the next set. And if you can't do pull-ups, then come over here on the lat pull-down. And I would recommend doing about three sets of 10, eight to 10-ish reps. Really nice, slow and controlled. Build up that lat strength. There you go. Third movement of the day, we're gonna do a row. So we've done here, we've gone here. Now we're gonna go here. Now, I was gonna put a dumbbell on here and actually tried it out. But if you actually look at this specific machine, it's almost angled at, a, at an angle like this. So it's already a little bit higher than a, a, a more conventional standard CD cable room. At least it's like tilt. So therefore, I'm not gonna use a dumbbell. I'm not gonna sit on a dumbbell. I'm just gonna sit straight on the bench. I'm gonna be using this bar. Uh, essentially like a V-bar. I think it's a little bit wider. Whenever I come to different gyms, there's different bars, slight variations, I enjoy using those. And I'm gonna keep most of my weight on my heel. So I'm putting my heel on here. Now when I come down, when I come down. Now you see how I'm stretched forward. I'm not going here. I'm actually stretched forward. I'm gonna pull back like that. Forward. Try to keep your arms kind of tucked in by your sides, by your lats. Just squeeze. Three sets, about 12 reps or so. Pause to the top. Fourth back movement, we're gonna do a unilateral movement. One arm at a time. We're gonna do a dumbbell row. But Sam needs a kettlebell. A little bit different weight distribution than a standard dumbbell. So, grabbing here, I'm gonna put my thumb over the bar. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to mimic a lawnmower. Like I'm throwing a lawnmower right here. Instead of just pulling up like this, I'm actually gonna come forward, hold the dumbbell or the kettlebell forward, and pull up like this. So, this is correct, this is incorrect. Correct, incorrect. It's right here. Kind of tight spot here. One thing you notice here. It's not always about the weight, guys. I'm trying to make this lighter weight. It's not that light, but 24 kilos. I'm trying to make it feel as heavy as possible. i really focusing on contracting, taking the movement slow, and really feeling every single rep. I'm supposed to just power through. I'm not going to do this all day, but I'm trying to control it, keep good form, and a good mind muscle connection. This. For the last minute of the day, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite movements, kind of burn out my back. Just a bodyweight exercise. You can kind of alter the difficulty. I'm gonna show you how. So here I have a Smith machine and just the bar, you know, this bar right here. Now, the higher you go on this, the easier it's gonna be. So if you wanna go like right here, we're just doing a bodyweight row, like this, ready? But you need to go higher if you're just starting out. This, the more difficult you want it, the lower you go. So I'm gonna set it pretty low, right here. I'm going a little bit wider of a grip. Everything we've done today has been fairly close to grip. I'm gonna just try to touch my bar to the chest. Get as close as I can. I'm gonna squeeze my back and hold it at the top for one Mississippi. So here we go. Uh, 
if you want to. After you do that, go about two higher. Go again. Do a burnout like that, like a double or triple drop set. Hang on two or three sets. See how you feel. Because you're finishing the back, final exercise, I recommend just going to failure. It's just a body exercise, not too taxing on your central nervous system. Take it to failure. First bicep movement of the day, we're gonna do an incline dumbbell curl. So here, I have a bench that I'm gonna set exactly, let me tell you, exactly at a 30 degree angle. I tried 45, but it felt a little bit too high. So 30 degree angle. The way I'm gonna do them today is gonna be like this. So I've got my dumbbell, right? I'm holding it like this. I'm gonna twist my pinky outward slightly, about right there. And if you notice, if you feel your bicep, it's, it's flexed, right? Now if you twist your pinky, you feel it tighten up a little bit. You don't even have to be holding weight. You can literally go here at your computer or wherever you're watching this video. And if you, if you twist your pinky, you see how that twist, your bicep flexes. I'm gonna be in that fully contracted state. I'm not gonna alternate, I'm not gonna supinate, anything like this. I'm literally gonna keep my pinkies out from the very bottom of the motion to the very top of the motion and back down. It's something I like to do every once in a while, just to kind of change it up and keep a ton of tension on the bicep. Because again, it's fully flexed, fully supinated pinky. You're coming up, you're coming down in that same position. Really, really tough. I'm gonna do both arms at the same time, like this. How do you keep your neck? It's kind of subjective because some people want to keep their head on the bench, on the back of the bench, like this, as they're curling, which you can. For me, I find that a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm not gonna be like this. I'm gonna find somewhere in between that I'm comfortable. And that's the biggest thing. Just be sure you're comfortable. You don't have any pressure or strain on your neck. It's gonna be different for everybody. So find what's comfortable for you. We're gonna go about 10 to 12 reps. Nice and slow and controlled. Three sets. Here we go. Shoulder blades, come back. Now I'm gonna get in my position. You guys can see my hands. Going out, out, and here we go. Really good movement. Next bicep movement, we're doing three sets of a spider curl. 16 kilos is all I'm using, but I'm gonna go ahead and come on the same incline bench that I was using for the incline hammer curl. I'm gonna put my legs up here. Now, I'm grabbing right at shoulder width. My arms are pretty straight, and I'm gonna kind of lock this bench in with my biceps. So I'm Coming here, sitting really tight, like this. And I'm gonna come up for about 12 to 15 reps here. This video is something about the YouTube gods or the force being with us, something of that nature. Because it's every single day we've been here, we've gone through so much to get these videos uploaded. Uh, we've tried so many different Wi Fi spots, and it's just been like literally six to seven hour uploads failing over and over again. And today, we have a flight tonight, and so if this video would have taken like six, seven hours, we wouldn't have been able to do it, wouldn't have been able to get it up, would have missed today. And so, 
the Wi-Fi YouTube gods are with us and the forces with us. And this video got up on time. 90 days and 90 videos. 90 videos in 90 days. Keeping it on track. Feeling really good. Videos are done, scheduled. Such a nice feeling. So that was this workout. It's really, really good. And now I'm about to do some cardio. And then we're gonna shower here because we've already checked out of our Airbnb. And we have nowhere to go. Did you have a workout? Yes, I'm dying. Everything hurts. You pushed me to my limits. <laughs> the YouTube gods did. Or the real god. Oh wow. Pussy. <laughs> the what? I was like, it's probably the YouTube gods. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I finished up with 20 minutes of cardio, took a shower, changed, and it's almost time to head to the airport. Before we do, we came back to this restaurant. What's it called? You know what's called? Hi. What's this restaurant called? Uh, Bondi Trattoria. Bondi Trattoria. Bondi Trattoria. We've been here almost every single day, at least once, but let me show you guys how good this looks right here. A bunch of pasta, literally threw a blob of butter on there, grilled <laughs> chicken, so and some uh, broccolini. But pasta is really, really carb dense, and uh, I don't know, I, I felt like having this. So, for my final big meal of the day, I went back to po poke, pokey, poke, and I got the exact same thing that I did earlier. Twice in one day, because we don't have this back home. And uh, I think we do like downtown Houston, but nowhere near where I am. We might, I'm gonna have to look into it. But, same exact thing, because I liked it a lot. So, oh, it's so good. It's so gross. Sh she's not gonna finish that chicken, so I'm gonna have a little bit of chicken. What? But, I'm gonna eat this, and I'll see you guys next clip. I'm gonna go grocery shopping at the convenience store next to your hotel. And we got a bunch of these body science bars because yeah. for the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and believe the nutrition facts and that each one of those bars is like four or five grams of carbs, right? I, let me, let me, let me think that. Let me believe the nutrition facts and go with it for now, okay? Thank you. So, with that said, we're about to go on a 24 hour flight. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next vlog. I might do some sort of Q&A kind of thing or I might just, uh, don't know, I might vlog it, not sure. But this video will be up on time, as scheduled. And uh, we get to London tomorrow at 11.40 a.m. So we're gonna have a full day in London. Um, and all jokes, like, I know I just made all those stupid voices and everything, but all jokes aside, uh, we heard what happened in London today and literally just got goosebumps because uh, it just came back in my head. But there was a attack and as of right now, the time I'm talking to the camera, unsure if it was a terrorist attack or what it was, but um, or if just some guy going crazy and people were injured, were killed, and uh, it, it it's terrifying. And to all the people that are affected, you see that, guys? Yeah. Um, our prayers are with you. And if you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, please reach out. Be the person that you would like to have in a situation like that.